This is to show you how to do a screenshot, um, copy and paste. So first thing, um, we are going to screenshot our Google Calendar. So we're going to have our Google Calendar open. We'll have this window here. And then the other uh, screen we need is to have our Google Docs, our Google Drive open. So you, to get to Google Drive, you just type drive google.com. And of course, you want to be logged into your Gmail in one more tab, and that when then it will log into your um, Google Drive. So we got these two things open. So do you see that I have um, my, uh, for example, my classes all here, right? So I want to show Mr. Tsubaki that I have done this properly. So I'm going to screenshot it, and then I'm going to put it into a document on my Google Drive. And the way I create my document is I go Create, and I do uh, Document. And then uh, I'm going to connect. I'm going to uh, name it. I just click right here. Let's say my name is Brad. Assignments. Okay, now it's all ready to receive my uh, screenshot as soon as I get it. So one of the ways you can get a screenshot is um, you can use the print screen button on your keyboard. Okay. But the problem with the print screen button is it um, it like grabs the whole window. And so if you want to get just part of the window, then there's a nice um, tool called um, snipping tool, which will get you exactly the part that you want. So if I want from this corner to this corner, then I can use snipping tool to do that. The way I start snipping tool is I go to like if, if um, if you're on Windows 7, you would go to the Start menu, which is down here in this corner. If you're in Windows 8, you would go down to the right bottom corner, and then you would uh, look for the magnifying glass to do a search. You can also, Windows 8.1, you can click here. So either going to this bottom right corner and clicking on the magnifying glass, or going to this um, icon here, you can grab uh, the magnifying glass to do a search, and you're going to search you're going to search for SNP, oops, S N I P, and then you press up, and then see it's already here, snipping tool. So then you just click on it, and then it's going to open it up. After you open it up, the first time you you open it up, uh, it is so useful that you're going to want to uh, pin this to your toolbar. So you go here, and then you click right mouse button. And then normally it, it would say pin this program to the taskbar. Since I already have it pinned to the taskbar, it says unpin this program. But in your case, it's going to say pin this program to the taskbar. And then you're going to hit the right, the left mouse button, and you're going to pin it there. And then you're always going to have it available to you just by clicking right here. And I'm going to use this a lot during the year to this year, so you should definitely pin it to your taskbar. Okay. And then uh, the way you're going to grab it is you're going to click New. And when you click new, the whole screen is going to go gray, but that's okay because it goes into like the snipping mode. And then while you're in the snipping mode, you can highlight the area that you want to copy with your mouse by holding the mouse uh, button down until you've covered the entire area. And then you release the mouse button. And when you release the mouse button, the area that you copied will immediately go into the snipping tool memory. And then once it's in the snipping tool memory, then you can go into your destination file and do a control V or a paste, and then that will put it into the new file. So you never have to actually do a copy. It's quite quick because you just press new, and then you cover the area, and when you release the mouse button, then the, the snapshot area is going to go into the snipping tool memory already without doing a copy. So you never have to do a copy. You just cover the area, release the mouse button, and then you can go paste it into the other area. So I'm going to press new, and then the whole screen goes gray, and then I'm going to highlight from this corner to this corner, and that's what I want to see. I want to see, um, I want to see my classes in the corner, and I want to see uh, my name in the upper right hand corner, and then I release, and then do you see how now it's in the buffer? Now, I'm just going to move this aside so that I can open up 
my document and now that my document is open I can do a control V and it'll paste it in and there it is and so now it's ready to share it with Mr. Tsubaki so I go in here and I do share and then my name's already up here because I'm the owner but if I wanted to invite Mr. Tsubaki I would just put philip.tsubaki and there it is and then I would say you know I'm just gonna um, do a send and then it would send the saved file, okay?